Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Y'all pray with us. We're going to try this old song. We had something in a while. How many believe me on the battlefield? Amen. How many souls are here? Amen. Amen. We ain't got much music, but we love it. We're going to work with what we got. Amen. I'm a soldier on the battlefield and I'm fighting.
further topic at all.
I'm supposed to be introducing my brother, um, Stephen Yaboa. He's, yeah, he's younger than I am, but he's bigger than I am. I tell everybody he eats all the food in the house, that's why he's bigger than I am. Uh -huh. If I open your hearts this scene, I believe God is here to give us exactly what we have in Amen. They must start crucified, late behind the stone and stuff. Crucified, lay behind the stone. He lived to die, rejected.
Let's bow our heads this evening. Dear Heavenly Father God, Lord, that's a true statement this evening, Father indeed, Father God, Lord. Release you, Father God, Lord, to come down in our midst this evening, Father God, Lord. Father God, for we as hopeless as hopeless as can be without you, Father God, Lord. We ask that you move us out the way, Father God, Lord. For Lord God, I ain't interested in speaking, Father God. We ask you to come down, Father, and break the bread of life to your children this evening, Father God, Lord. Father God, Lord, I ask that you come down, Father, in a supernatural way, Father. Anoint your people, Father God, Lord. May the sick be healed tonight, Father God, Lord. May the lost be saved, Father God, Lord Jesus. And, oh God, may we, oh God, leave, oh God, this place with victory in our hearts and in our lives this evening, Father. Lord God, we ask that you move, oh Father, in a supernatural way, Father. We feel your presence in this place right now, Father God, Lord. We ask that you move, oh Father God, Lord, and continue to magnify your presence that's in this place this evening, Father. Lord God, may lives be touched this evening, Father. May hearts be changed, oh God, for your glory, Lord. We give you all the praise and advance for Lord God. Speaking to our hearts, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Oh, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I have Amen. How many leaves the Lord this evening? Amen. 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 We just have been out here this evening. Amen. 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 We need him every day of our lives. Amen. Amen. When we go to work and when we go to school. We need the Lord in our life. Amen. 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 If you have your Bibles this evening, let's turn to Daniel, the third chapter. We'll start off with the 22nd verse. If you have it, you can say amen. Amen. This is a little title and topic the Lord has given unto us. We minister down in Florida. We pray to be a blessing to y'all this evening. Yeah. Amen. If you have it, say amen. And it reads like this. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceedingly exceeding hot, the flame of the the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then the book of Nebuchadnezzar, the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors. Did we not cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Amen. The Lord will give us a grace and help this evening. I'd like to title this message, The Fourth Man, this evening. Amen. Let's bow our heads this evening. They have me, Father God, Lord Jesus, we come before you again, Father God, Lord. Lord God, help me to move out the way so you can speak to your people, Father God, Lord Jesus. Father God, Lord, I can do nothing on my own, Father God, so I'm not even going to try, Father God, Lord. I ask that you move me out the way, Father, that you come down right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. And speak to every need and to every heart we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. How do you love the Lord in this place this evening? Give the Lord a hand clap and be happy. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Amen. We find out here in the scripture that we read, amen, that uh, there was these three boys, amen, that was, amen, they, they came out of a strange country, there was some captivity this evening, and they was bound, amen, by, they was drove over by the Babylonians, if I'm not mistaken, and they was brought into Babylon, and uh, we find out, amen, that the king, amen, they worked their way, there was so much, amen, so much and so with Christ, amen, until they had a position in that country. Come on. Amen. We find out, amen, that Daniel was with them at this time, amen. And we find out that, amen, the king had made a summons and a decree, amen, that at the sign of the music, they should fall down and bow the image of Daniel, amen. The prophet said it was Daniel, amen, the image like unto Daniel. Come on. So we find out, amen, that they go, amen. The king gathers everybody in that province to come down and bow, amen, down to this image, amen, this man worship, amen. Come on. The king believed in man worship, amen. But amen, the three boys knew what their position was and what they believed in, right? Right. And that's what the king, amen, summons themselves. If you hear the sound of the music, amen, I want you to bow down and the, uh, worship this image. And that's what the three boys knew, amen, that we did not serve the man Daniel, amen, we serve Christ only. Amen. And so we find that, amen, that the king goes forth and He's, he makes a decree and says, if you don't bow down, we're going to cast you into the fire. And then the Hebrew children had us, amen, uh, confession, amen, in the blood, amen, that it don't matter, God don't save us, amen. We still are not going to bow to that, believe, amen, uh, to the image, amen. So we find out, amen, that the king, amen, he's on 
come some of them sound of music and that praise. And it begins to go on and we see voices of eyeballs in the midst of the rest of the crowd. Because the rest of the crowd was doing that and what the rest of the people was doing. All right. Let me preach somebody. Amen. Amen. We find that amen that they was doing that and what everybody else was doing. But these three eyeballs stood up straight. Amen. All right. Why? Because they knew the God that they served. Amen. Come on. So we find that amen that going on. That amen that King Summers would come over. And he asked him, you know, you important people in my problems. Why aren't you doing what I tell you to do? And then they say, you know what, King, we respect you for your position. Oh Amen. But we're not about to bow down to no man. Oh, yeah, because we don't have any, we're not supposed to have any other guy before us. Oh, so yeah. we find that man that King says, okay, well, just compromise just a little bit. Really? Amen. You don't have to go all the way down, man. You don't have to suit so low to the this man. All you have to do is just put that little makeup on your eyes.
And the doctor said, I told you, you know what? You only got 24 hours to live and you are the scene of this earth. But God did not create you this evening, amen, to, to be sick. That's right. Amen. He did not create you to be lost or bound by the enemy. So I know that, amen, that God, amen, it's time somebody found a position of Christ like a word of God. We walk around, Lord. Praise God. I guess it's the will of the Lord. No, it's not the will of the Lord. It's you are the pride of Christ. I said you are the pride of Christ. And you are the pride of And you are the pride of Christ. And you are the pride of Christ. And that pride of Christ says, I am the God that healed thee. Amen. That's 
said, you know what, we ain't got nothing. We ain't got nothing to give this man. And he said, fix your eyes upon us. If I could feel it and go, have we none but such as we have. We are free, amen. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And we find that man that the lame man began to jump up and walk, amen. That threw the devil off of the bed, amen. I mean, we see, amen, the young person that surrendered to Christ. I said, the devil, amen. The devil knows, they may win a match for him. Yeah. He knows he's done lost every battle. Yeah. He's having to go your way. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Come on. We find out, amen, that God knows that the fourth man appeared for Daniel. Right. So we find out, amen, that God knows that. We find out, amen, that, uh, that David, amen, he threw his face with the Goliath. Yeah. Amen, a big dude, amen. A giant, amen, that was in the land. Yeah. But the fourth man, amen, appeared high, because, amen. Yeah. Like the brother said this morning, amen, that we, we come so much downhearted that when we come to church, amen, we throw our lives through the floors and they come to church, well, bless oh God, it's another oh Sunday night or Sunday morning. Yeah. Amen, we should have a victorious life this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Thank somebody. You find that, amen, that we, my goodness, I don't know why I'm getting on this subject right here, but we find that God's going to have his way this evening. So we find that, amen, that come to church, amen, we all... Sad and everything. And Christianity is not a sad religion. No. I say Christianity is not a sad religion. A religion that can tell you when you can talk to the enemy that you're facing is not a sad religion. Buddhism cannot do that. Amen. Christians cannot do that. Amen. Why? It takes God and God alone. Amen. They are dead. I said on the third day, Christ rose. Amen. And when he rose, he gave the peace to people. And then he went to hell and he popped in hell in the grave. Cannot be there. My goodness. Catch a revelation. Depression cannot stay in the presence of God. Depression cannot stay in the presence of God. High blood pressure cannot stay in the presence of God. I said, I don't know what you're facing with this evening. The devil, amen, likes to talk to us sometimes. Uh -huh. Most of the time, we start to believe the devil, amen, some of the times. You ain't going to make this rapture. You're going to backslide and go off in the world. You know, uh, you're not really a Christian. You just go to church and you go to the backside, just give up and go. God don't even care about you no more. But I said, uh, I begin to think, amen. I went through this myself not too long ago. Amen. The devil telling me, you know what, you ain't gonna make it. But then I begin to think of something. I did not call myself into this place. I did not call myself into this faith. Amen. I'm telling you, amen. The, if you begin to listen to the devil, amen, you will leave this message and you will leave. But if you have the faith in God, amen, that you did not call yourself, you did not choose yourself, God has told you, and that's what enabled to see you through. Amen. You got that, amen. That Christ, amen, that you serve this evening is not going to lose a one of us young people or old people, amen, or elderly people, I should say, amen. We find out that God, amen. This body change is about to happen sooner or later. Amen. I, I hate to go to heaven, amen. And God be like, you know what? You've been happy, amen. I like what Brother Doug Baker said when he was here the last time. You could have been happy about your religion. But let's say we walk around and all defeated. Walking around like we ain't got no victory and no joy. Walking around like, our God is dead. Our God is not dead. I don't know about that. There's only one place that I know of that was quiet and said. Now I know 
Don't take this the wrong way, but it's a funeral procession. Everybody's walking around all sad and all gloomy. And that's because somebody's dead and off the scene, and we're going to miss them. But we're not in the funeral service this evening. Hello, somebody. So we ain't got to walk around like we're walking through the cemetery to go bury somebody. Amen. Yeah, we do need to go to the cemetery and bury something. We need to bury our religion. When he got on that donkey, amen, the people started to praise him, and when the Pharisees began to come, he said, what? You know, just shut up, tell them to shut up, amen. They, they don't even just disturbing the peace. Uh -huh. They disturbing our peace. What? And God says, You know what? If I shut them up, you see this rock right here? It's going to cry out in that place. What I wonder sometimes in our message churches is God to raise up souls to praise them. Why can't I get a victory? Uh -huh. We find that man, if you stop praising God a little That's bit, right. your body's eventually going to obey your confession. Right. Hello, somebody. You walk around if you're sick. You're going to be sick, man. Yeah. If you go home and the doctor tells you you got 24 hours, you look and says, you know what? I got a year. I don't have a year. I'm already healed. Why? Yeah. Why did I serve yeah. 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 So we find that man, they've been a praise God, and then the and then we got a bunch of Pharisees in the churches nowadays. They don't believe in shouting no more. I love somebody. When the Spirit of God is going to move, they're like, you're disturbing my peace. And then when God is going to move, you're disturbing my peace. Amen. I said, it's gotten so and so, and then we drive by right at the churches. And he's not in our churches no more. Why is that? Because we all just, and then sitting down, amen. Criticizing one another. No. I don't know why I'm getting on this subject right here, but it's time right now. We live in a rapture age this evening. Yes, sir. And we find in a minute. If we got this church against this church, and that church against that church, and we say, Lord, you ready for a rapture, Lord God? Come down, take us out of this place. And you ain't going to no rapture with that little good spirit. It's a promise that nothing but love is going to go. It's a promise that nothing but love is going to go. I got to put my God for me. I ain't got to do that. This sister over here talking about that sister. Hello? This brother, this brother, this brother down, talking to somebody else. Amen. Talking about it behind his back. I ain't got to do nothing. What? Hello, somebody. This is true for the house. We end up doing the devil's job for him. Yeah. But if you can realize something, go ahead, man. Free. If you can realize something, if we look beyond our brother's fault. And we look beyond our brother's mistakes. Because you know you got your mistakes. And you got our failures. And then God would reveal those mistakes to everybody. Yeah, man, I'm pretty sure. And we all got a past this evening. And if we cry, and we die for our sins, and then we can forgive. If he can forgive us, we can forgive our brothers. God is calling us to touch the love this evening. And he's calling us to touch the love this evening. God is perfect love test is all good. So we find that, amen, that. That amen, Christ, amen. When he died, amen, he did not die to see you lost, you know, person. He died, amen, with a purpose in mind. And he had you in mind this evening. And I, I don't know, amen, but we find that, amen, I'm not going to be much longer. But uh, we find that, amen, that uh, if we go on in this world that we live in, that everyday life becomes such a cycle sometimes. You walk around, like our brother said, Going in and out, going to jobs, going to school, and doing all the normal things of life, and we fail to recognize where we come from and where we're going. I'm not trying to re preach the message this morning. I enjoyed that this morning. How many enjoyed the message this morning? You know, we're trying to keep you all heart for Jesus. So we find that they're going on that you're still in the same cycle. Amen. It's time somebody to break the cycle this evening. Amen. And we, they can't be broken this evening. Amen. So we find that, that the fourth man appears in the midst of that lion's den. Your life, amen. We find out that he was big, amen. He was making all his boasts. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna destroy you for a day. I'm gonna feed your body to the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the fields. Amen. But David had a revelation. He said, David had a revelation. Hearing somebody that my God, amen, is big God, and he is, amen. He will never leave me, don't forsake me. Amen. He says, there ain't no weapon for 
perform against me shall prosper. I said, no weapon performed against me shall prosper. Sometimes you just read over that word, amen, and we find out that the devil will just come over here and just kick us, amen, left to right, and we just standing there like, oh, well, I guess it's God's will for me to endure this suffering and this pain. Amen, hey, you can live a victorious life this evening. Why? Christ did not die for you, amen, to, be a, to live a defeated life. He did not die, amen, for you to walk around in circles, young people, being up constantly battled by the enemy and constantly being afflicted by the enemy. He created you to put the devil on your feet. That's it. Amen, and some young people are going to come up and rise up this evening. And he's going to put the devil right where he belongs. I said, where he belongs, he does not belong in your head and in your family. A lot of times we, we begin to exalt the devil and start to pat him on the shoulders. Well, you know, you're right. You're right. You know, I'm not worthy. I'm, I'm, I'm a sinner saved by grace. Yeah, you saved by grace, all right. Amen. You saved by God's grace, and he's not going to lose you. So the devil goes around, we begin to pat him, you know. You're not worthy. Sure, he's telling the truth right now. You're not worthy on your own strength. But when Christ died, and he made you worthy. And I said, you got every right to kick the devil off your mountain this evening. I said, you got every right to kick the devil off your mountain. And then the devil tries to steal your joy this evening. Amen. That's because you let him steal your joy. I said, it's because you let him steal your joy. Amen. You have the power, amen, in Christ Jesus. And then the top of every head and every demon power. We've been given every power, amen. Yes. To suffer the death of the season. Yes, sir. Amen. Let me find that and then uh, let me read this message right here. Jesus Christ is saying yesterday, today, and forever. All right. Amen. And it says, now one principle of us being here, trying to help you, and the only way walk I know, and the only way that I know, Christian friends, to help you to get your faith, the best that I know that I can by the word of God, centered on the will of God for you, you see? If you can only see that it's God's will to do these things for you, and it's God's will to save you all, and it's God's will to heal you all, and he certainly, and he will certainly lead you into deeper depths and higher heights if you would just trust him. Don't be satisfied with the fire built from last night. This evening, don't be satisfied with the fire built from this morning. Right. Amen. Let's build, a, let's build a little further up the road tonight. Yeah. Never build it in the same place. You can stand still. You can't stand still. You either backside or going forward. All right. We've, we've had years now that hasn't been too much done. But I truly believe that we are entering into the greatest time the world has ever seen. And we in it this evening. I certainly believe that there is coming a time that is right now. And it's right now of God going to make Himself manifested, the greatest He's ever done in all ages. This is the end of the time. Time will be no more one of these days. We come up, we come out of eternity, step into a little space, a little time space here, and step out of time back into eternity. We was before the world was. Then we came, let me backtrack and read that over. We was before there was a world, excuse me. Then we came into the world and we got out of the world back into the unknown to us now. I'm mean, going down, let's read down again. And now, in here we've had our Savior because here to earth, God Himself made Himself manifested to us and gave us hope of everlasting life, eternal life. And also in there, He promised us joy and happiness and contentment, which is the earnest of our salvation, that we have now as a, a golden inheritance. Amen. And we find out that God has given us joy, peace, and long suffering. Amen. It's up to you to fight with what God has given us. Amen. Amen. You're not going to be seeking nothing without fighting for it. Amen. And God has given it to you, but He wants you to do something. Yes, he wants you to fight this evening. Yes, Amen. And you be struggling with any kind of sickness this evening. Uh -huh. Amen. God is wanting you to do something. Amen. Amen. He's wanting you to step out in faith right. and believe His word. Yes, amen. If Christ was here tonight, this evening, Amen. Standing in this blue shirt and this black pants, Amen. This evening, He can do nothing for you, That's right. because He's already did it That's for you. Right. Take you to the seat. Amen. amen. If you struggle in your body this evening, Amen. If you, if you in a mind battle this evening, and the devil's got you beat, and he's got you, Amen, at a defeated state, that you're walking around with no victory, no joy, 
No peace, no long suffering, no, nothing, amen. It seems like you can't get a victory. Amen. God is expecting you to do something, amen, to see you heal. He's expecting you to say, step out in faith and believe his word. And if you don't step out, and if God cannot do nothing for you, until first you have faith, and he will, he's already done it for you, he's going to accept what he's already done. So we probably have to walk around, amen. Amen. We will not leave such a defeat of life. If you realize who we serve. So a lot of times when we really be, sometimes forget who we serve this evening. We just think, well, he's just another God, amen. But he's not just another God. He's the creator of the universe. Amen. He created the stars, the moon and the stars. Amen. He's this all knowing God. He's an awesome God this evening. Amen. And he's he rules supreme and he reigns, amen, in the hearts and lives of his children. So we find that, amen, that if we recognize who we serve, after yeah. the times that my battle that we face, amen, we won't face a mind battles, because we know the God we serve. That's right. So we find that, amen, that if you sit this evening, uh-huh. amen, that you try to bring this down to close, Preach. amen, that, uh, that the God that you serve this evening, amen, I don't know your need this evening, but I know a God, amen, that can supply your needs this evening. Amen. Young person, I'm talking to the young people for a little bit. Amen. Young people, I mean, we find that we're living in this age, and it's hard, amen, as hard as it's ever been. In all the ages, amen, young people face with different kinds of demons and, amen, homosexuality on a rampage, amen. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse than what you think it is right now. And we find that, that young people, amen, it's, it's going to take a stronger... Faith, amen. It's going to take a stronger thing, amen, to keep us in this age. And it's going to take Christ this evening to hold you through this world, amen, to keep us sanity. So we find that, amen, that if you ain't got the Holy Ghost, young people, now, I'm sorry, if this rapture happened right now, amen, if it happened in five minutes, or let's say five seconds from now, where would you be? Amen, where would you be, young person? Maybe we walk around like, well, the rapture's coming. I know the rapture's coming. I know it's coming, I know it's coming, amen, but what are you doing, amen, to prepare for the rapture? That's, That's the question I'm going to ask these young people. What are you doing, amen, to prepare for the rapture? I mean, if you're not crying to God, amen, for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and asking God, you know what, I need you in my life, and see, like you said, Lord, I need you in my life, amen, because you're not making this rapture under the coattail, coattail of your parents. That's right. You better get your own experience this evening. If you don't have your own experience, I'm sorry, you're going to be left behind. Right. And then we find out that, that if the rapture happened in five seconds from now, where would you be? Would God, amen, bid you welcome into his kingdom? Or would he tell you, depart from me, I never knew you? Now, we find out that, that that's a touching statement and that's a touching question this yeah. evening. That Will God in there welcome me or will he reject me? That's the question I want to ask. And then we find out that the devil, and if he could get your mind so busy, so occupied with the things of this world that you don't even care about God no more, or you don't care about the things of God no more, then you know he's got you in a position to where you're going to easily give up and backslide. You find a lot of backsliding going on in the message. And I said, why is that? Why is all this backsliding going on in the message? People that's been in the message 20, 40 years and they just decide to leave. Well, you can say, well, they're not part of the, the you can say they're not part of the bride, but I'm not going to say that, amen. They're all brothers, amen. 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 They're not, they are part of the bride this evening. The devil's just talking, amen. It's our condition of beating them down so much so that they just decide to leave this message and leave the word. And I begin to think, you know, what could have been different, amen? What could have happened, amen? And I can tell you, man, most of the time they probably quit praying like they should pray. They quit, they quit, they keep on looking, they let jobs and they interfere with their life. Amen. Amen. They're working, amen. See, they're working too much, exactly. Amen. Amen. They're all thinking about the money, the money, the money. Amen. The money that you have this day, man, tomorrow you can wake up and it's so good. Amen. Amen. You can wake up tomorrow and you can go to Walmart or wherever you go. And you try to buy something, and they tell you, you know, this money is no valuable to us. It's no value. It's of no value, man. And with all your hard work and all of that, that you try to miss service after service just to try to get a little extra money in the bank account. Amen. That's not going to work. And if the rapture happens, and all you did was just walk around here making money and try to live big. 
down here on this earth. Now I ain't get something, amen. I ain't get something nice on this earth and anything like that. But make sure your perspective right. and your motives are yes. right. Amen. Amen. Yes. amen. You can be a millionaire and set your job the right way. Yes. I mean, you can be, amen, the president of a company and making all the good money, amen. But just keep your focus on Christ. Yes. See, a lot of things happen in the next is people losing their focus. They focusing on. Well, I'm a big guy, amen. I don't need God in my life no more. Just because God bless you, amen. amen. But, uh, better finances. I'm not here preaching prosperity or money or nothing like that, amen. But, amen, we find that just because God bless you, amen. Amen, he's, he's going to require more of you, amen, with what you got. Amen. Than what somebody's got with just $50,000 in the bank. Amen. And you making a million dollars, a million dollars in the bank. Amen. He's going to require more of you than that $50,000 guy that's making that much. So we found that man going on there. You can be happy making this twenty-eight thousand dollars. Have Christ in your life, Amen. and you won't have any care in the world. Amen. Because He said He will supply our needs. Amen. Not against people not going to school now. Not against young people going to school. Amen. You need an education in this life. We find that man that people in the message. I mean, just preaching against all, uh, education and all of that. It's good to get an education. I, I don't get any men on that one. Amen. 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 You need an education in the life that you live in. Amen. Amen. Young boys, amen. You ain't gonna work at McDonald's and raise a family. Amen. I love somebody. Amen. You got young people, amen, that need to step up this evening. Step up the responsibility. You got, young, you got young boys in the message, you know. I just watch it, amen. Well, I'm gonna join the military. I'm gonna serve my country. This, this country is wrong, amen. amen. I'm gonna serve the country. In this country. Yeah. So all they're doing is just protecting them too. Right. That's all they're doing. And they're allowing them to serve in the country. Right. And well, I'm just join the military. Well, I guess I'm going to play video games too while I'm at it. But <laughs> somebody's got to step up the responsibility yeah. sometimes. Yeah. Amen. I don't know why I'm getting on this subject. Yeah. But, <laughs> but we find that in our responsibility. Yeah. Right. And then we walk around and like, yeah, the rapture's coming, amen. But Brother Brown said if he was planting potatoes, he would still plant potatoes, amen. And still look up, amen, for the coming of the Lord. The young people's got so much soul. Well, the rapture's coming, I'm just going to stay home and put out 40 years old and still living with my mama. No! I'm going to live off of my mama's paycheck and my daddy's retirement check. <laughs> I love somebody. It's time for you to grow up. Amen. You gotta take on responsibility. Hello, I don't know why we're going on this up. Everybody knows what you're doing. Be a man. Amen. 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 All the black checks that we had need of. Oh, yeah. All of it, amen. Oh, yeah. Sickness, amen. If you need healing, amen, he's got the check for healing. Yeah. Amen. If you need deliverance, he's got the check for that too. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You just gotta sign it. it. And your name is as good as his is on the check. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we find it, amen, that uh, responsibility. Amen. Young people don't want to take responsibility nowadays. Now, they rather just walk around just be in their own little world. I don't Amen. Well. After all, I ain't got to pay no bills. I'm living in my mom's house for free. I eat for free. I ain't got to pay no hype bill. Hey amen. You should just wait till you get your little car or get your little place, hey amen, and start paying insurance and all of that. I ain't there yet. I'm trying to get me a job too, so. <laughs> I'm preaching to myself this evening, so I don't think I'm preaching to somebody else. Hey amen. Amen. I did look, amen. I got an application. <laughs> amen. <laughs> we find that amen, responsibility, amen. Go to school, young people. Young boys, especially. We find that amen at the sisters, amen. They gotta go sometimes. And this it'll put the brothers to shame. Young sisters got more goals than the young man of the same. 
and in his message, amen, we find that in the preachers that don't preach against education so much so that the young people can get up. Well, after all, I mean, the rapture is coming. Yes, it's coming, but like I said, man, if you plant potatoes, keep planting potatoes and look up. And that much rapture did not happen for another hundred years. And you just sitting here with a rapture's happening. I hope it don't happen for... I hope it happens now, amen. I'm ready to get out of this world. Amen. But if it don't happen for another hundred years and you just sitting there like, man, I wish I'd have done something different. Yeah. Amen. Do it now. Yeah. Do it now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it now. Yeah. Amen. We talk about it in Glory. And then I'm about to close in a little bit. Don't worry. We find that in a Responsibility, amen. That people don't want to step up no more. They want to always be mama's little boy. Uh -huh. Well, I need money, Mom. How much you need? I need a couple hundred dollars. Here you go. I don't believe in that kind of religion. I believe you have to work for it. If you're a God man, you got to work for it. Take that responsibility. Amen. In the summertime, young people, you can cut somebody's grass and make a little money off of it. And then pay your mom and give your mom some light bill and gas money, whatever. If you say so, that's all. I said, I'm preaching to myself too. <laughs> Amen. Get your little job in the summer. Well, I'm going to school. Amen. Keep the best grade that is possible. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But that's my responsibility. It's all the words that young people don't want to hear no more. So, well, after all, my mama just gave me an allowance. Amen. <laughs> Free money. They ain't got to work for it. They just, well, what you want? I'll just give it to you. Let me tell you something. I work. You have to work for what you got. Amen. There ain't nothing free in this country or in this world that you live in. You gotta work for everything you got. Amen. Everything your dad and your parents has got, they had to work for it. Amen. They had to work for it. Amen. So we find them in that, uh, my almost son, my almost son. Don't worry. Amen. You gotta work for everything you got. Amen. And I'm gonna hit on sports just a little bit. Find out, amen, that nowadays, you know, everybody's trying to go to the sport industry. Well, I'm going to be a basketball player. I'm going to be a football player. I'm going to be all of this. But I begin to think in my mind, amen, football, it's physical, it's physical, amen. You run, something happens to your leg, and you get injured. And if you get injured, amen, that's your end of your career. And you, it's over. It's old. You can't, you can't run with no angel leg. You ain't no good to your team no more. I don't know why I'm hitting on this, but plan, amen. Like I said, plan, pray, and plan. Pray and plan, amen. I mean, because we live in here, man. The devil would like to destroy young people, just period. You know, so you can get the young generation, he's got everybody beat. Right, because the young people, amen, are what's going to destroy his kingdom. The old people are going to destroy it, amen. They had their share. And they had to punch the devil. Now it's your turn, amen, to pick up the baton, amen, and to run with it, amen. Amen. So we find that, amen, responsibility. Amen. That uh, Christ, amen, he's responsible for his bride this evening. Amen. He's not going to let the end be temple with his bride. So we find that marriage, amen, that, amen, that, we find that, my goodness, why am I getting all this, but, Lord help us. <laughs> But uh, people, they man, just walking around, but they ain't got no ambition, they ain't got nothing. In life, they ain't got no goals. We found all these young sisters over here just praying for God to give them a husband, amen. That's right. But sisters, hey man, if your life ain't right, if you're not looking right, if you're right, my goodness, what am I getting on this? But if your life is not right, you going around just Put them split tail dresses on. Oh Lord, here we go. <laughs> Wear them high heel shoes. Going around saying, "Well, I'm ready for a husband." No, you ain't ready for no husband. You can't even cook. Okay, twenty-four-seven on the road, just riding around. And he said, "Well, I'm ready for marriage." You ain't ready. You ain't ready for nothing. You need an altar somewhere to break that old spirit to that old age. And the things that was not allowed in the message that people took the stand for, they blowing the stand and stand. Right. And we had any kind of any kind of filth come back in the houses and in our churches, amen. People walking around and they were making fun of their faces in church. Now it's all right. The prophet said if you didn't have a little color, you could put a little color on your face. He did say that, but but also, but you should have enough sense to know. <laughs> I said, you should have enough sense to know that the word makeup, you take makeup, and when you say makeup, what is makeup? You're making up something that you're not. Oh, yeah. 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 you make it up, as you go. The only woman that painted her face was Jezebel in the Bible. And that's where she ended. She fed to the dogs. And we allowed that to come back in the message. Makeup coming back in the churches. Split tail dresses coming back in the churches. Amen. Tight clothes coming back in the churches. Pastor's wife, amen. Dressing with tight clothes and all kinds of stuff coming on in the churches. Walking in high heel shoes, amen. That the vision that the prophet saw this evening, amen. Of the preview of the bride, amen. He saw Miss America. Walking to what? High your shoes. Right. Missing the way, amen. That's right. Guess where they ended? In hell. That's right. Amen. They ended up in hell. My God. Why am I hitting this stuff? Oh, I don't know. Amen. Yeah. The Lord has, he's having us wait this evening. Yeah. Walking around, amen, with high feet, high your shoes, amen. We can barely walk, amen. 
Why put yourself in danger? What is wrong with going to uh, Walmart and getting your little flat toe shoes and be more comfortable? Because you know you ain't comfortable walking around. Fuck, you trying to hold something. Five minutes, my goodness, my goodness. I mean, our guests are so hot, sisters. Yeah. My. Yeah. My brother has to turn his head every single time he walk. Bye. It shouldn't be like that. And that's something the world and the United Nations are doing. It shouldn't be in our midst. But that we let down the bar so much so. We just let anything come in the midst of the message rest. And we said, Lord, we're ready for a rapture. You ain't ready for nothing. You ain't ready for nothing, amen. Sure, people, there's some people that's ready for the rapture, amen. But you're not going to go with your tight clothing. Because the prophet that came and spoke against all this stuff. Amen. But you find that, well, we started to bring everything back in the message. And bring it back in our homes and our lives. Who told us to kick out the television? Hello, somebody. Else. You were surprised how many ministers got big flat screen TVs in their houses. You'd be surprised, amen. A message people. That the prophet came down and told us if he had a television, you'd blow it out with a shotgun. But well, yet we go out to the pine store and we'd be like, you know what? That's about the right size, you know. You know, matter of fact, I take three or four of them. <laughs> we decorate it around our living rooms and our bedrooms. And let our kids just watch any old kinds of filth on them. Now he said that television, amen, would have been good, amen. Would have been good. I'm, We've been good, amen, but it's perverted. Like he said, I mean, I heard that in my own words. You know what he said. Amen, like I said, amen. Amen, that what you do, amen, with your life. Amen, will this turn your eternal destination? If you're constantly walking around here with a defeated life and a defeated attitude, you will be defeated. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to leave this world knowing that I could have defeated the enemy and gave him a black guy and just walked out of here. Amen. Amen. I'm here, amen, to conquer the gates of the enemy. I said, my goal, amen, amen, what Christ placed me here for was to destroy the devil. And to cause torment to the enemy. Young people, you hear the torment of the enemy. I said, you hear the torment of the enemy. See, I got to hang up from a young person. Amen, you hear the torment of the enemy, not to let the enemy torment you. Amen, but we have let the devil, amen, beat us around so much so until... We don't know if we're going or coming. And by this time, it's right now for a young person to take a stand. That's right. Musicians make their way back up. Right. Amen. It's time for you to take a stand this evening. Right. Amen. Like I said, amen, responsibility. It's time for somebody to be responsible now. Once you get 18 years old, amen, it's time for you to take on responsibility. Don't be like the world, young people. This world is gone. And so is the young people. Amen, this is all filth everywhere. Amen, this nation is right for judgment. Amen, like I said, amen, if you're sick in this place, amen. That's the place, something softly. If you're sick in this place, if you battle on depression or oppression, that's nothing but a demon. Amen, if you lost your joy, as you bow your hands this evening. If you battle in sickness, and the devil have you so much bound, that you can't seem to get a victory. You come to church day in and week in and week out, weekend, week, night, service. And the devil's got you so much beat down until you don't even know if I'm even a child of God no more. Or, or I'm here to tell you this evening that God is here to break every chain. Yeah. Amen. I wonder if you can play that song, play that song out. Amen. He should have break every chain this evening. If you hear bound with a sickness, young person, amen, not the devil's whispering in your ear so much longer. It's time for you to take a stand this evening. If it's a young person in here this evening, then the devil's whispering so much so in your ears that you begin to accept the lies of the enemy. And you want deliverance from something, and the devil tells you, you ain't got no, you ain't going to be delivered, because I've got you in my grip. You ain't going nowhere. He's nothing but a liar this evening. Amen. If you're in this place this evening and you're bound by sickness 
Or a disease, amen. And you want to make your way up your season, amen. The smell of God in this place. That's going to break every chain of the devil. Why? Because we've been given authority to bind the work of the enemy. Whatsoever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven, the scripture says. But say you're a person this evening. Hear under the sound of my voice. That says, Lord, I'm going to step up and take responsibility. I'm going to step up and manage the what you have called me to be. I'm going to step up. I'm going to raise and stand it up. I'm ready to stand it up. Is there another person that will say, Lord God, that will stand on their feet and make their way up here under the sound of my voice? I'm not trying to pull you or pry you, but you know what's going on in your life? You know what struggles you're facing this evening? I ain't got to know. You can stand, you can pray to God and He knows, amen. He knows your heart desire, amen. He did not send me down to North, from North Carolina to South Carolina to see you battling, amen, by the enemy. He came to see you I came to see you delivered, amen. The Lord sent us out here, amen. For a purpose. Amen. And if you're here this evening, that you don't know, amen. Will you be two years from now, amen? We don't know what tomorrow holds for us. You can die today. I said you can die on the way out today. And I pray that that don't happen. But if it does happen, where would you spend eternity? I don't know where, you would, where would you spend eternity at. Would it be in an eternity with Christ or in an eternal hell? It's your choice. You've been made, you've been given a choice this evening, your person. I don't care how young you is, or how old you is, or how old you think you might be. But God's here to break every chain, amen. He's here to break every chain. Mm -hmm. There is power. Yeah. Is there a young person in this place that, was, that would like to say, Lord God, I'm raising a standard this evening. Is there a young person in this place that would say, Lord God, I'm giving you my all. I'm tired of the devil beating you inside the head and tell me I'm not a Christian. I'm sick and tired of the man of the devil constantly whipping me, whipping me outside the back and telling me I'm not going to make it. This evening. Ministers make their way up this evening. And the devil is moving to the battle right now. You walking up here this evening. The devil is about to change that the battle you with. Amen. You walking right here in your faith. Amen. As this destroyed work of the enemy right now. Amen. The devil is defeated this evening. Christ is looking for you to take a stand. If you sick this evening, he's here to break every chain. For oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. Dear Father God, Lord, you see our brother's request this evening, Father God, Lord. Lord God, I know it's on God, Lord, but you break every chain, Lord God, that he has to use. Oh God, come to put, put upon our brother, Lord God, right now, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, may you break every chain, Father God, Lord.
Father God, Lord. Worthy of these ever be, Father God, Lord. Lord God, you say, God, that deliver us, oh God, Lord, from that rotting enemy, Lord God. We deliver our prayer, we pray, Father. In Jesus' name.
when you're young. That's an 18 year old young man that the Lord really used A 20 year old young man, the Lord really used him. I like what he said, young people. He was talking about responsibility. And he put himself in it. Responsible, being responsible. John, being responsible. Quit setting on the mother coattail. Being responsible. Get out, don't wait on it. Get out there and get it. I'm so glad you. Boy, that was good. I enjoyed that, man. Brother, you did a good job. Eighteen years old. Preaching the gospel. Amen. In college, he told me that about another year or so. Two years. Going to be a radiology technician. Doing something with his life. Amen. Besides winning on a stick, he couldn't say, I'm a preacher, I ain't gonna do that. He got that doing something to take care of his wife. Amen. So, Brother James, we got one like you. He can't look at no girl for eight years since last year. He's gonna be a doctor. A heart doctor. But see, he, can, he ain't got the two more years. He can look at one. But he like you. Don't try to find them, son. You're too young. God's good, isn't he? Now don't y'all let the girl stop y'all from what you're trying to achieve. Can you hold If God got this ordained for you, I praise the Lord. What well, that was a good series. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just come up to the place. You young people, you don't know how much that you step. If you, you better get fear out of you. And if God reveals you to do something, you better. I don't want to say, get your lawnmower up. That's right. Huh? Yes, do your job. Yeah. Have them get a lot of them and put them out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of times the children won't do it, but the men are so sorry. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I can say, my boy always work. Why? 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 I'm going to help you one week. You got to go out and find the money. I can't get that. My credit ain't good. Hey, oh, I can't get that. When my life was bound, ten chains, you set me free. Keep on. when you get in a knee. Because well, everybody don't get in a knee. I have to pick up cans. They pay good money to pick up enough. I ain't shame of it. If my car broke down, I got to buy a ticket. I'll fix them or two more back. Right. Y'all got to learn how to redirect. Right, I ain't got no money to buy that. You ain't gonna never have that. Because you don't want to live alone. Yes, sir. 
before you can get high, you will be a blow. Before you become a millionaire, you will be a penny in, a quarter in, a dollar in. You must go through the halls of credit before you go through the halls of credit. I'm like this brother. He said, if you had McDonald's, you could work your way up. And I'm on the background. As long as you got a job. Or work your way up. Don't sit there. That's one thing about. Uh, we can't put this on YouTube. <laughs> Tell them, don't put this on YouTube. This is this morning going on YouTube. God good. Young people don't be the average. Don't put this on YouTube. Don't be the average black boy with nothing. But a pull on pants, not even a car, and walking. Don't be the average man with a, a bunch of rims on the car. Can't take care of nothing. You don't have that. You don't want to have that. But a pair of shoes are my joy. Thank you, Jesus. Show your parents. Show God. Let me tell you what. Everybody got a computer in here because most of the young people don't know their place. I want you to study on your post of duty. You need to know because you are the will of God. People are the will of God. They don't know. They don't even know they're supposed to do. And surely they went. It is not going in the rapture. God's good. The brothers should step up. You ain't got to worry about your sons no more. Step up. I would do something, Mom, if I had the money. What happened to that money you made? I would get me a line for why you ain't got me yet. Right. Step up in the plane. Yes, right. I ain't got nobody to carry me to cut nobody to grass. Put it in the back of the truck and keep riding. Right. Yes, Step up. Right. Women don't make sixes out of children, boys. Right. Step up in the plane. Yes, sir. Well, you preach a good message tonight. Yes, on that responsibility. Step up! Y'all need to pray y'all parents and they let y'all do something. Don't let y'all keep y'all in captivity. You say I want an education. Education good, but you better work with education. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the brother said, look forward to do something. A future. Yeah. I don't want to get married because I get married, she got, got, got a job, and I, ain't got, and I got to have a job. That ain't what the word said. You responsible to take care of her. But if you don't know nothing about responsibility, you can't take care of yourself. How are you going to take care of her? Man, you preach that dynamic on this. God have mercy. A lot of you people need to hear that. Lay in the bed. Don't want to do that. Because you ain't got the right job. Oh, I'm going to go out there and make me a job. I made me one. I don't have no GED. I don't even have a GED. I don't have it. It's good. The job is. Y'all be blue. I don't even have one in. But the Lord has guided my life to go out there and work, and He blessed me. And I thank Him for it. I'm going to tell you, you can't lay in the bed and put two things on your ass yeah. and her music. See where you get. If I were a woman, I'd turn my head. I'm not talking to me. You can't buy ice cream cone for yourself. Talk to me. Oh, you can't do a box. No. See the kisses. Yes, amen. And my children come in the picture. Come on to you. Yes, sir. 
Oh uh-huh. 